Hey everyone and welcome back to some more VGC online battling. Uh, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Uh, we kicked off earlier in the week with the Inteleon team and we're just going to continue on. I'm literally continuing on from where we left off last week. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that last episode and hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully you get some more battles and it's a big episode of Hope Please, isn't it? But uh, if you do enjoy the content, like I was saying at the end of the last episode, Please leave a like on the video and do subscribe. Um, it's more important to leave a like or a comment down below. The likes are what I'm looking out for because I'm not committing to doing full on VG five days a week until I kind of know that there's a, an audience for it and you guys want to see this content. So if you can leave a like, do drop a like or try and get to 100 likes. Like that's the goal with this. And then that, that will guarantee, let me know that you guys want to see more of this sort of content. Um, I will publish the team at the end of this episode as well. So if you like the rental team for this specific variant, then I'll post it at the end of the video. Um, but without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So the team that we're playing at the minute is Inteleon, uh, Darmanitan, Rotom Cut, Arcanine, Dusclops, and Rhyperia. I'm pretty sure that is the six. Or is that five? I don't know. Seba VGC is our next opponent though. So let's have a look. Yeah, so there we go. There's a the team. Um, it's been pretty nice so far in the couple of matches that we've already featured this week. So hopefully we can continue on. This team looks kind of fun. So we've got Dragapult, we've got Indeedee Female, uh, Tyranitar, Togekiss, Whimsicott, and Rotom Wash. So pretty balanced team. I'm surprised there's no fire type in here, but you've got the kind of fire coverage on potentially Togekiss, Tyranitar, or Dragapult. I'd imagine it's probably on the Dragapult. Because uh, otherwise this team looks like it gets absolutely ruined by Durant. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, it's it's fine. So, what are we going to do? Um, do we go down a Trick Room route? I think, like, Trick Room here could, like, absolutely run over this my opponent's team. And they've not really got anything to kind of stop us getting the Trick Room up, other than potentially Taunt on Whimsicott, uh, which it could have. I'm tempted to bring my, my Trick Room route mode in the back. We've got 21 seconds. Let's go and Teleon. Do I need... Do I need Arcanine here? I don't know if I do. Let's bring Darmanitan. Just go the big guns up front. And let's go Dusclops, Rhyperia in the back. I think we can do it with these four. Let's see how we get on. But I'm still learning the team as well. I'm still learning how this team operates. This was an idea I had for a team throwing these Pokemon together. So we're literally experiencing this team together. Which I hope is something you guys enjoy because there's always the idea that I had when I was doing VG content is to kind of do the process of what players go through when they're testing teams um, to try and make them a little bit better. I'm a little bit scared by the Helping Hand Max Dragapult attack here, um, but I think my opponent probably, probably is a little bit more scared of, um, I'm going to Max Airscreen for sure. We did max, didn't we? Yeah, we want to max. Max airspeed. Um, it seems really wasteful max airstreaming here. What I'm going to actually do is go max darkness. It's just actually, no, I'm going to max airstream because I want to get the jump on the dragon pull this next turn. Um, and I'm going to U-turn into the Indeed. It's going to follow me anyway. Let's see if the dragon pull, yeah, the dragon pull's going to max. I'm hoping. The thing is, like, if it's not, like, fully invested in speed, then Inteleon probably will outspeed it, so we'll get the jump on it prior to it being able to attack, which is handy, I guess, but with clear body, you can't even intimidate it, so it's not like that's an option. I think the main thing is getting rid of the NDD right now um, and, and utilizing uh, speed control so we've got the jump on it going into next turn. That's what we want. So at least Inteleon then can pressure it with um, Max Ice or Max Darkness, whichever one we want to go for. Let's see. Follow me. I've got a feeling that we'll probably outspeed the Dragapult, but here, watch me eat my words. <laughs> go on, Max Airstream. So, gonna. Ooh. 
Okay, well, that's not the worst. At least we're keeping pace with my opponent. And we're going to get rid of the Ndidi here. There's no way it survives. A banded U-turn. Like, it'll take the max airspeed. The only problem with U-turning here is that we kind of, we're not benefiting on the Dom side from um, the speed boost. Which is a little bit sad. This is like the one drawback of this play for myself, at least. Um, ooh. Ooh. Citrus Berry? Is it going to be enough to save you in DD? Let's see, I really don't think it is. Nope. <laughs> Donked. Okay, that's, yeah. I mean, generally, I don't think you can for that sort of thing, so it's fine. Um, phew, what do we want to bring in? Hmm. Dust Clops? Right, Pudia? I mean, Dust Clops is alright. We could. We could uh, it's not time for the Trick Room yet, though, is it? It's not. Let's go for it, though. Let's see what my point brings in. I guess this is a problem when we're kind of U-turning out with um, with Dom. But, I mean, we could have stayed in and Ice Punched and maybe kept Dusclops for later. Okay, it's, it's Rotom. Rotom. All right. Um, we go Max Darkness into Dragapult, and hmm. I do want to keep my Dust Clops for later on in the match. I think what I'm going to do is sack Domanitan here, because if I'm my opponent, I think with Dragapult, I'd probably attack into Dust Clops, Max. Uh, Max Phantasm, just to try and get as much damage onto it as possible, knowing that if the Trick Room goes up, I'm pretty screwed. Now, Max Darkness from us, Life Orb, should, it should take it down. But maybe not as well, maybe, maybe it survives. The Dragapult's surprising, like, but this is like max speed, right? So, okay. Special attack balls. And we're gonna take a Thunderbolt here. Yeah, crap. Trouble. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of damage. Um now Dusclops will be able to take this. I'm pretty sure we'll take the Max Phantasm. Pretty sure. Chucker Berry. Oh. Interesting. Um not really too worried, I just want to get some damage on to the Rotom, to be honest. I think we'll go for Max Darkness, and uh, we'll try the Trick Room. I mean, we've kind of got to get it up for the end game, to be honest. Ally Switch. Alright. Come on, let's go take it. Oh, we just take it just, just. <laughs> I really want, I really wanted Inteleon to go down here, so we've got the switch into, um, so we've got the free switch. <laughs> into Rhyperia, but it's not going to happen, unfortunately. Thing is, though, I think if you're my opponent, next turn, if you're going to attack anything, like if you're going to attack the Inteleon with your Rotom, you've got Thunderbolt, so it's a pretty nice switch in for us. Like, I can't see you risking a Hydro Pump. Not effective, and... Inteleon might be useful, like, if the Trick Room ends and we need to bring something else in. Like, what I want, I don't want to see here is Tyranitar right now. It puts a lot of pressure onto our Dust Clops. Um, maybe just concentrate down on Dust Clops, I guess. Good thing. I'm probably gonna have to. Like, is it better if I just bulldoze? Bulldoze here and switch into Rhyperia. Um, I think it might be, you know. Because I really. Like, I could Pain Split. I could Pain Split. But I think Dusclops go, probably goes down anyway. Um, bulldozing seems probably a better idea, I think. Yeah, we'll go Bulldoze. I need to prop the weakness policy. 
And if for some reason Dusclops gets through this turn. The problem is we could proc it on Tyranitar as well. It wouldn't surprise me if we do. That could be a bit of an issue. Alright, what are we going to say? There's a weakness policy, so thank you very much. I mean, I think we need it for the Rotom. I think we need to proc it for the Rotom. And let's just pray we don't see a Hydro Pump here. If we see Hydro Pump, we're done for. We lose. We lose! All that. All that. I mean, that's a smart play from my opponent. They're kind of covering bases, aren't they? Just on the Switch, like in case the Switch comes in, so... Fair play. Uh, all we've got left is um, flinching. Flinching and one attack left with uh, Inteleon, which we're going to have to snipe shot the Tyranitar. So we get a double flinch here. Still in this. Still in this. <laughs> double flinch. And then the Rotom's going to be a nightmare to take down anyway because one Hydro Pump. Oh. Well, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. We need the flinch on the Tyranna. We need the flinch, we need the double flinch. Like 100%. There's one. There's a Hydro Pump. And it misses! And we get the snapshot! <laughs> this is sick! Oh my god, my opponent must be like, screw this game. <laughs> oh, brutal, brutal. We still haven't won yet though. We still gotta face this Hydro Pump thing. Um, But single target Rock Slide. No, the Rock Slide did. It's in proc. Oh, it's got the shucker, hasn't it? Yeah. This we might get it, you know. Single target rock slide, I think, gets it from here. I think. Yeah. From the damage that we've just done. We hit. King of RNG. Here we go. Seba, I mean, yeah, just, well, what can I say? There's nothing to say, good game. <laughs> the RNG was kind to me there, but I'm not even going to be sorry. I'm not even sorry for it, because that is just salt. Like, just suck it up, take it, Seba. Look at that. DC. DC. There's a lesson for you all on what not to do. I know, I know. Sometimes you feel like it. Sometimes you feel like throwing your switch across the room. And it's easy just to disconnect. I know, I know. Okay, there we go. It's Pokemon though. Man, if I, if I did that every time I got <laughs> BS'd out of a match. Uh, our rating would be terrible, but anyway. Moving on, moving on. We'll be... We'll be um, We'll not discuss it anymore. We've got Revo, though, as our next opponent. I'm trying my best not to laugh, because I find the situations, even if I'm on the receiving end, I do tend to find the funny side of it, because it's just so ridiculous. Um, but you've got to play to your outs. You've got to play to your outs, and uh, that's what you've got to do as a Pokemon master. Learn that from uh, Ash Ketchum. I did. <laughs> anyway, we got Revo playing Sandaconda, Gothitelle. Uh, Snorlax, Lapras, Arcanine, and Ferrothorn. It's going to be a trap team. Per uh, Perish trap, isn't it? Uh, Perish on Lapras. Uh, trap with Gothitelle. Sandaconda. Or Lax. Going to be uh, G1. I would imagine Sandaconda. Um, but I think, like, huh. I don't want to bring my Trick Room mod here. I don't really feel like I need to. I think we can just overwhelm my opponent with just stupid offense because they they have got fake out right they've got fake out for sure but they've got no trick room um i don't really care about lapras too much like where's their speed control like icy wind maybe gothitelle's got fake uh trick room but i mean if gothitelle's got trick room and it needs to get the trick room set up there's no way it's taking a double attack from Inteleon or Dominatan. And I feel like if we can just get the, the guesses right here, we can, like I said initially, just overwhelm my opponent from the, the get-go um, and just deny them the trick room. But we'll see. They might be smarter than us. They probably are. So, see what they do. Uh, Sandaconda and Gothitelle. Ah, 
Gothitelle. Um, and I mean, if the Gothitelle doesn't max here, and uh, it decides to um, decides to fake out, then we are getting an attack into it. And I think what we'll do is, oh, what's the best? What's the best? Let's go. Let's double into the Gothitelle. Let's just do it. I'm not really too worried about Sandaconda. What's it? What's it going to do? It's not the like the most the strongest physical attacker. It's got ridiculous defenses, but well, defense, special defense, is amazing. But I just don't see the Gothic Tell. Even with a berry, like all we need is a bit of chip for Dormanitan to to get it with the U-turn. Unless it does fake out, but if it fakes out, it's not trick rooming. So that's that's the thing. Um, we're going to see probably Sandaconda. Yeah, there is Gigantamax. This is the first one I played. I played Gigantamax. So oh. Let's see what happens here. Uh, got the tail fake out. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. But like I said, it's not going for the fake out. It's, I'm not going for the trick. So I mean, I don't mind that. Wow. So much What's Sandaconda gonna do? That's the thing. Like uh, Sandaconda's special defense falls as well with his dog. Type attack, which is another great reason about um, using Inteleon as like G Max support. Domanitan flinch and Sandblast. So Domanitan probably goes. Ooh, we take it. But will we take the chip though? I don't know if we will. No, that will be enough to take us down. Which is a little bit of a shame, but it's fine because we've got. We've got plenty of things to come in, and mm. what's going to be better, like Rotten probably going to be better, because I think a snipe shot might take down, Max Geyser might take down Sandaconda, which is whether or not we want to go into uh, Gothitelle and maybe willow -Wisp. Like, it's probably better to just guarantee that we are taking the Goth Tell down uh, and Willow Wisp Sandaconda, because I think the Goth has to go for Trick Room here. Yeah, we're going to see it. But, I mean, we've got no chance. And now your special defense is minus two. So I think it's Snipe Shot. Definitely has a good chance to take you down. And Snorlax feels like probably one of the only decent things to come in here for my opponent uh, on the Gothitelle now, but we'll see. Like, Lapras would probably be something that my opponent would want to bring in, but I think the Rotom kind of puts puts my opponent bringing it in a little bit. I don't know. It is Big Bad Arc. Um, I don't know if Rotom's actually trapped, because if we come in after the attack, I don't know. Makes sense that we're not. Uh, let's go for the Max Geyser, let's see. Can we switch? Yeah, we can, so that's fine. Yeah, so if you're not actually attacked or on the field when the attack goes off, then you're not trapped, which is fine. Um, the Intimidate's gonna be, like, super useful here anyway. Uh, like, what arc and I'm gonna do? Could be Wild Charge. Could be a stray arc and I. Could be. Uh, minus two special defense. Let's see how much this does. Wow. Down in one. Down in one! The Sandaconda. There we go. So why Inteleon's so good. And if we do... Oh, we could have... Uh, we could have... Um, oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> There's a Sand Spit. This is why Sandaconda's so good. Um, that Sand Spit ability is really, really strong. I do like it a lot. I'm gonna say, we could have left Rotom in to take the the fire type attack in the uh, in rainbow it's not not what's happening uh, anyway well that's our last turn of dynamax so we will revert back to our regular size now uh, and at least we know the arc nine slot of the house or whatever they've got left and we're down to the last two so we should we're in a good position right now And it is that good old lappy. Um, okay, but well we need to we need to really 
get rid of the Arcanine. Um, because the Flare Blitz isn't going to be ideal for us to deal it. Uh, I mean, we can snarl, we can snarl, and we can snipe shot. We can. And I think, yeah, we, we snipe shot the Arcanine, and I think we snarl. The only worry here is if. Like, we'll probably lose Inteleon to a freeze dry. The only worry is if the Arcanine's got Protect. Bada bing! There we are. I don't know, even if a minus one, like, I don't think minus one um, freeze dry. I don't think we'll survive it. I think that'll still be enough. Oh, wow, Brian, Brian. Brian! You say? <laughs> Didn't expect that. I think you have to attack the Inteleon there. You have to go for it. Like, it doesn't make sense not to. Um, if you've got Freeze Dry, just go for the Inteleon. Get rid of it. It's the one thing pressuring your Arcanine right now. So, th like, to me, that would be... I don't know. I don't know. I don't agree with that play. Like, they could win the match from that point, I think. They've got enough to deal with Autumn C and our Arcanine, probably. But now we get another Snarl up, so the Lapras is going to be even less powerful. We get a Snipe Shot into this Arcanine, which is maybe, I don't know, enough, is it? It's a, yeah, and I mean, that that loses my opponent in the game. So, I this is why. We say Freeze Dry now, then I'm just going to hit my head against the wall. But, I mean, players are learning, so we're not going to bash on anyone too hard. I think, like, you know... Fair play to anyone lately. This guy's master, like, so he knows what he's doing. I just think there's like a few, like, I don't know, like we've maxed with Inteleon as well, so it kind of tells you that we're not going to, we're not probably going to have Protect um, for that reason. And who's trying into that slot? We can't, like, if we switch, for whatever reason, if we switch. Um, it rolled some seas coming in, so we're not going to enjoy taking that either. Do we risk? Do we risk the leaf storm? Nah, we don't. We'll just go. We'll go more consistent. We'll go the more better accurate thunderbolt. Should be enough with with dark pulse. Um, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Lapras is a tank. I don't know if this will be enough. Is it? Just hangs on and prox. Which is it? What is it? Wiki or? Just, uh, it's, a, it's an Agua Berry. Freeze dry. Okay. This, this turn makes sense. You're like ignoring the Inteleon because it's going to go down to the sand. Is it going to go down now though? Or is that the end of our sand tomb? Hmm, that's the end of our sand tomb. So uh, we go down to life orb damage anyway, and the Thunderbolt will be enough to pick that one up, and that will be it. But like I said, at the start of the week, did say I was going to share the team. Does the Sandstorm end here as well? Because if it does, then Inteleon is going to stick around. But I mean, the Thunderbolt's going to take the Lapras down, whatever. So there's not really much my opponent <laughs> can do. Yeah. Um, but I did say I was going to share the team. So uh, this variant of the team, this team may change. I think it probably will. The more games I have with it. We've obviously only had four games with it this week. So it's... It's it's still really early days, but it's been performing like super well. So I think that's like a big plus for us. Um, uh, it's just made up of good Pokemon as well, which really helps. But I think the big thing that I've been really happy about with it is the Inteleon just showing how powerful it can be and the, like the text, the tools that it's got. And it's something that you should definitely look at and uh, consider for your teams. Um, probably... I might do next week, early next week, we might throw the Vanillux into this if we don't go to a new team. Um, no, we're not going to continue battling now. We are going to create a rental team for you, my friends, to try out. And uh, if you test this team out, try it out on the ladder, post down below. Let me know in the comments what you what you think of it. Um, teams, you're renting. Manage teams to share. So we want, uh, we'll create this one. And there we go. So... Um, make it public. Let it go to the people. Here we go, this is for you, my friends. And I think one thing I probably changed, like the reason I put Ice Punch on Rhyperia was uh, primarily for like Trick Room Mudsdale. 
uh, which can be a bit of a problem. Um, so there it is. Um, but I maybe would go Fire Punch on there. It gives you a little bit extra security, I think. Because uh, we've not got a... Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Try it out. Test it out. See what you think. Um, but that is that is it, people. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been our VG experience for this week. Obviously, we'll have streams going on. Tuesdays, Thursdays, over on Twitch. It's linked down below. Like I said at the start of the video, leave a like. Let me know that you want to see more of this content because that's the big thing for me doing more of it going forward. I'm literally not being uh, funny about it. Like, I'm going to do some VG guides. I'm quite happy doing them, but I'm not, like, going to do, like, jump into doing bunches of this uh, content if there is not the audience there and hopefully all of you guys can understand that so make sure you do leave a like do sub to the channel for more pokemon content and uh, i'll see you all for another one next week so until then friends have a great weekend whatever you're up to uh if you're out at events good luck and um i'll see you all for the next one so take care of yourselves and bye bye